Warning, the hack featured in this video is done by a professional. Do not try this at home, as this can result in a skin laceration slash permanent scarring. Always check your bleeds. What's good, YouTube? Real quick, quick video. Basically, just want to show you guys the secret to getting out the bottom guideline without using your trimmers, without using your detachables, and that. just straight up clipper work. And I'm talking, you set the guideline in with your trimmer, and you can get it out with this by using this technique. Now, I did this by accident years ago. When I first started cutting hair, probably in like 2017, the summer of 2017, when I was in my basement, I was cutting. And you know when you set your clippers, you zero gap them, and when you're screwing it in, it kind of shifts a little bit. That's what happened. It was with my Oster Fast Feeds. And I noticed I was able to get the line out easily, but sometimes it would cut my client. So I put it down a little bit, and I, but I kept it still shifted. And I was like, wow, this is a crazy technique. It works on every single texture because it gets annoying having to switch back to your trimmer, your detachables to get out the line. It's annoying. I know how it is. I recently seen a TikTok, this dude named George's Fades. Shout out to him. I think he said he did it with these. Either these or the seniors. I don't really use the seniors. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try it on these because these are my one of my favorite fading clippers because once it gets loose, I don't know, it's just so effortless, like just the flip. Now, when this clipper isn't worn out and it's brand new, fresh out the box, I don't like how they cut, I don't. You have to wear them out, you have to use them for a few months. The blades get sharper over time, the motor gets run down and it gets adjusted and it settles in after a while and it's more fluent instead of just new. When something's new, you gotta let it, you know. So yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I set this clipper, let's do it. Tools you're gonna need, just a little, the standard Babyliss screwdriver and then your clipper. Basically, unscrew this. Gotta get some of that hair out. We're gonna take this, disconnect that piece, and clear all the hair out. So once it's all cleared out, you're gonna wanna clean off your blade. Set this aside, set that blade aside, brush off your cutter blade. Then we're gonna put the cutter blade in, connect the two pieces. Once it's connected, set this up, put the screws back in, but don't tighten it fully. Just tighten them so that the blade ain't gonna fall off once you let go. So once it's like this, now we're gonna shift it. So we're gonna loosen it up a little bit. So. The cutter blade stays, that's not moving. So we're gonna adjust the top piece so that it's leaning to the side. So you wanna close it so you can see where the cutter blade is gonna be at. And you don't want it to be too close because this will cut your client worse than a over gap trimmer blade. So this is good enough. And this is strictly, when you do this, this is gonna be strictly a detail clipper. And as you can see, it's not over gapped. It's definitely crooked, but that's how we want it. And now we're gonna test it out to see the results.
for your YouTube, this technique is pretty straight to the point. I basically start with the blade all the way closed. And as I move up, I, I go down on the notches. So right there, I just switch to my third notch. Um, it's very simple. This technique is very effective. I can't tell you guys how much time I've probably saved cutting hair by doing this technique. Um, because, you know, we have surgical blades, but no one always, you don't always want to grab that. You know, sometimes you want to do the whole haircut with one clipper or, or just use one specific detail clipper. And this is my go to deep detail clipper now. Like I could take out any bottom guideline with this clipper usually. It's crazy. Um, I highly recommend it. If you're left handed, I recommend doing the technique in, rever in reverse. So instead of gapping it to the right side of the uh, blade, you want to gap it to the left side since you're going to be using that side. Um, since I'm right handed, I have it zero gap to the right side. That way, my finger, like you see how I'm holding the clipper? That's because I'm right handed. My, my right hand finger is under, resting under the clipper, helping me control it, you know? And I just love this technique because it's like you get two clippers in one, you know? A lot of times we have to switch to wedge blades or, or detachables to take out these guidelines. But in this, it's like you get a long blade on the, on the left side, a non-zero gapped blade, and then you get a zero gapped blade on the right side. And it's like, you're unstoppable. You can do whatever you want with this clipper. That's why I really like it. Um, but yes, please be careful when you do this technique. I know you guys saw the warning sign. This can be very, very dangerous because it's literally you're, you're playing with fire here. You know, if you zero gap this this clipper a little too much, it can literally cause a laceration in the skin. And that's very bad. The client will not stop bleeding. I can promise you that because I've, I've did it before years ago. I've done it. I actually was using the magic clip and I dropped it. And when I dropped it and I, I started using it again without checking it and oh man, it just cut his skin wide open. It was disgusting. It was crazy. Always check your blades, you know, especially when you're switching between clippers, you're, they're not, they're bumping around in your station. They may be moving the blade shift, you know, the screws aren't always as tight. They get loose over time. So always check, but yeah, this video was pretty short i just wanted to make it straight to the point you guys can enjoy the rest of the video watch me finish this crispy cut and it's the fourth cannon i'm out peace